playoffs 3-0 as either he's either going to be the second seed or the first seed. That's that amazing. Is yeah. Insane. Taking down two PGR level players to get there. Um, who else did he beat? Who did he beat? He beat Fatality. He beat Wrath. Who was his third win? Card. Who else did DD uh, beat? So DD beat Fatality round one, and then he beat Name Fireball round two because Name oh, Fireball yeah. beat Axel. Mm. Name um, Fireball also. Uh, and Wrath round three. So he beat Fatality player. and Wrath, who are the second and third seeds of the tournament. That so. is wild. Didi showing that he can hang with the big dogs. Oh. Yeah, Cola giving him the fist bump. The um, the passing of the torch there, saying Cola is still obviously one of the best in the state. Uh, you know, the best. He's actually number one, but saying, hey, I've been exactly where you are. I understand where you're coming from, and I'm happy for you, dude. You love to see it. Georgia, one of the I friendliest seasons match. I am exhausted. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, I'm exhausted watching that match. Yeah. But last set, last set of the um, round. Mm -hmm. So after okay. this, we get a six-minute break. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. Yeah, and so now we see where Didi right, can be in five years, kind of with Cola here. Yeah, kind I'm, of fun to see timeline-wise. I'm loving Cola's new look. <laughs> I like the hair. It looks sick. And on the other side here, we have Vendetta. Uh, recent Georgia come up. Again, he's, yeah. uh, he moved here from New York, I believe, uh, where he was making waves, but he's been making even more waves lately. Uh, recently off his win of the Smash World Tour Southeast Online Invitational, or not Invitational, Qualifier, he beat out like 1,200 players. It was insane. Yeah, just and got I'm, into Metafly too, so yeah, you know, if you want, true. you know. <laughs> he also, would you um, say the best Ken? I mean, yeah, right? He's, he might be. He's I mean, definitely yeah. up there. I mean, lately he's been doing the most work with Ken, for sure. No, I mean, I feel like every time we, I mean, I think people have woken up to it now, but I know like a year ago before quarantine, you know, people were sleeping on Ken and people in Georgia were like, are you serious? Yeah, this character no. is cracked because we Ken's always really deal good. with Vendetta. Absolutely. You know, this is, uh, lately this has been kind of a Georgia staple, Roy versus Shodos. You know, we have a couple good Shodos on the rise lately. You got Vendetta, you got Jazzo who made work happen on Thursday. But do we really have any Roy's? No, yeah, no Roy's. You know, very Roy, not few very common. Really Roy's rare. here in very Georgia. Very rare. Polo, the only one doing it, really. Yeah. Nah, Roy, again, uh, one of the most popular characters in all of Georgia. Uh, we have so many high-level reps of this character, which means Vendetta should have a lot of matchup experience. We'll see how this goes. I'm but pretty again. sure Vendetta beat him in the Smash World Tour, mm -hmm. but that was online. I'm not sure what the record is coming into offline now. Yeah, very different case, though. But, you know, you say online, but Cola, well-known, you know, both Wi-Fi warrior and online or offline presence, so uh, Cola win online is just as good offline, you know. That's true. Talented in both. Very different, though. It's going to be a different matchup mm -hmm. for sure. And again, so far, just treating a bunch of hits. Both these characters just hit so hard. Yeah, really does. so early. Pretty sure Cole is at kill percent if he's not careful with his face tools. But reading, oh, oh wow. my god, he's inside his mind there. <laughs> reading the roll in, finding the F smash. You know, I think this is going to be the exact opposite of the set. We just watched improving it there, losing another spot. Oh, oh my, my god. gosh. Well, he said, I'll just give you this one. You can have it. He said, you know what, I like to keep it close, you know. I want people to talk about our set like they talked about TD and Rap set. The only one you know, who takes I want the my attention on me. me. Yeah. Said, you know what? I take yours. I take mine. That's how this game is gonna go. <laughs> oh, what a smart counter there. Going to Ken Mains like to hit that down tilt on the ledge. Cover so many options. Falling up air into another up air. Can he extend this advantage state? Vendetta using focus very smartly to get out. And the sure Yugen gonna take that stock pretty early. Again, Roy. Kind of getting the most out of his combos, most out of his damage when he's really close to you, almost on top of you, and that's kind of where Ken wants you to be. So, yep. you know, risk reward here, you know, almost 50-50 for both of these characters. Yeah, these characters blow each other up. I actually, I don't know who the edge goes to here. Um, I know that Roy is fast and can definitely, uh, you know, he has at least a little bit of a disjoint. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the fact that he wants to be so close to Ken makes it so terrifying. Ooh. It's going to be a massive risk-reward kind of battle. Oh, but that's where Cola thrives in those scrappy situations, finding an F-tilt out of it. And taking that stock against back to even. Uh-oh, this is bad. Again, Going yeah. for the down smash into the Hadouken, and then just raw Shoryu. Just, yeah. just do it, just why not? It. Catching him holding in when he got hit there, going to be the bad guy. And just going to explode dead, it it would have been close, mm. but there it was not close. <laughs> I think Cola definitely holding in there because he was on his way in with an aerial. Mm -hmm.
Vendetta crazy. You gotta wonder how it would have gone without the SD, but you know what? Pulling out the type to get shook. We'll find out. Yeah. Pull being the, you know, the, I, my bad. Big lead. <laughs> you know, all you do yeah. is it, my bad, shake it off, switch uh, to Cloud. I got the Cloud. The classic. Cloud able to play at a little bit more range than Roy. We'll see if that serves Cola really well. You know, general wisdom has been that Roy was better than Cloud, but Cola has been kind of proven lately that both of them can uh, scrap at this top level. Yeah, maybe, you know, the Roy playing toe-to-toe well, -to -toe with Ken, maybe Cola wanted a little bit more um, comfort by spacing with Cloud a little bit more. Yeah, the upbeat hitting the focus there just put the game on pause for like half a second. <laughs> that was crazy looking. Again, stalling really well with these focuses, but Cola not taking the bait or anything. That was so smart. Baiting out the focus and then using the limit side beat. Not going to kill, though. And oh, almost yeah. dying at 60 to a random down tilt. Not activating that oh, second wow. part. Really I don't think he can parry. get back. Oh, Even oh, with close. limit not going to make it. That parry into down smash is so smart there for Vendetta. Facing Ooh. him out, trying to find the kill. Polo going for a big commitment. Yeah, Polo trying to for it. just find something to close out this stock, but Vendetta not letting him have anything easy. You know, he's making him work for it. Ooh. Trying to read the landing there. The good thing about that uh, neutral B is it does force Vendetta to jump, meaning that Cola can cover it with something else, but a really smart focus there. Going to get Vendetta out of that situation. Cola's got to find a way to close this quick. Yeah, and I mean, he's approaching uh -oh. kill percent. Rage Roy. I mean, Rage Ken. Rage Ken, absolutely. This is scary. Ooh, this is really also, scary. And now oh he's... Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. He was so far away. He was in the corner. He was so far away from him, and that's sure you still <laughs> caught him and scooped him up. Again, uh, ooh, finally. finally that bear sealing out that stock. Kind of scary situation here. I wonder if the explosiveness of Roy, you know, helped pull a little bit because um, he's struggling a little bit with this cloud, but starting to find an opening here, coming to life. Finding that three hit combo there, getting a good 40. But again, I think he's one combo away from kill percent, it feels like, so. I'm pretty sure that this match is on pace to be a fifth the length of the last match. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that goes without saying, though, right? But yeah. yeah, I mean, Ken, I don't think I've ever seen a Ken go to timeout unless maybe he's playing against Yeah, how does that even happen? You, you have to get camped by Sonic. That's like the only way that ever happens. Oh, hitting him on ledge, and, it, and he just gets out of it anyway. Yeah, just kind of grazing his knuckles there, making him drop the edge, but still living. Ooh, oh, smart really nice focus there to get back to stage yeah, alive. Yeah, but he broke the focus and then up tilted through it. 172, Ken still not dead. And there we go, back to even stocks. So again, you know, Polo was looking at that big deficit, but he's brought it back, so maybe he can seal this out before losing his stock, but really, I think it's one more interaction with Ken, and he's dead. Uh -oh. Maybe, yeah. it's gonna be close, and it's gonna take it. Yeah, optimally there, doesn't matter. You got down tilted at 90, it's over for you. You're dead. Cloud not light either. Yes, I wonder, you know, I mean, it came back to even stocks with both Roy and Cloud. I do wonder if he's gonna go back to Roy, or maybe he's like, you know what, I just had to... Cloud, we're going back with Cloud. Maybe he just feels a little bit like he just has to get used to the matchup a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, he got blown up that first stock, but then the rest of the stocks were actually in his favor. He just couldn't mm -hmm. bring it all the way back. So maybe he's thinking he's figured something out here. He has a little bit more momentum on this Cloud. And starting out, finding a nice little side beat for 24. Not that it matters for long. It's really scary to be in the corner against Ken. He can kind of just hit your shield for free. Yeah, one of the scary yeah. things about going Cloud against this character is Cloud, one of the more parryable characters, and Vendetta, one of the best parriers in the world, uh, with a character with an insane parry punish game. Yeah, but Cole pretty good at mixing up his movement, mixing up his aerial timing stuff. He's going to make uh, Vendetta work for that parry timing. Dash F Tilt is going to be getting him on stage. I haven't really seen any successful edge guards out of Cola. Uh, Ken, not the easiest to edge guard, definitely possible, and a really nice pivot F Tilt going to be taking that in the corner. Yeah, I mean, the, but the problem with uh, edge guarding with Cloud, right? You drop like a rock, so you kind of want your two feet on the ground when you're playing Cloud and um, try to read a roll, a jump from ledge, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you can occasionally go off and go for something crazy, but against Ken, it's, it's pretty scary. You know, you can do the hang ledge back air and catch the catch you. That's about all you can really hope for. All right, finding the shield drop and pull up. There oh, we go. Like there, I said, sometimes still doesn't kill though. 
Well, and get and getting that punished tough. for that S smash on shield. They're trying to call out something that wasn't there, but still looking in Cola's favor pretty well. It's pretty easy to go for a yeah. risk like that when you're in the lead. Doesn't take a lot of interactions for Ken to bring this back, though. Mm. Oh, the down smash covering both in front and behind, really smart. And then dodging the focus of the back air, 120 on lid, still not quite killing. Again, I think Cola paying a lot more attention to his facing this game. That is a stale bear, let me mm. tell you. I think it's not killing anytime oh, but soon. Limit in the game. I wonder if he's going to try to save it for next stock, but nope, he All lets right. it rip. Limit up, he's going to take it. Covers everything, you know, at that percent. Ooh. Why not? I wonder, is he SDIing out there to get the. I think he almost definitely yeah. is. Um, again, Pola, Smash 4 vet, definitely knows that SDI. And it makes a lot of difference against Ken. It doesn't necessarily mean Ken can't do anything, but it forces Ken to go for alternate combo routes, and it can turn a true thing into a 50 50. Yeah, which is incredibly useful, especially at top level. Yeah, not too many up out of shields. Vendetta respecting full of shields quite a lot, and Pola, I feel like, is facing a lot better this game. Ooh, yeah. Nice bag guy there. Can Cola find it? This is a huge lead. Was he going for a crazy ledge trump there? I don't sure, understand. Yeah. I think he might have been trying to spike you him can't if he got dump the timing right. Is he alive? He is, he is so living. barely just kissing that blast zone, and Oh no, well he got a little damage. <laughs> <laughs> you know 120 what? though, this is rage kin territory. Did he push him with like his body? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, no, I think he held down. I'm not entirely sure why. Yeah, but Pola looking for this one bear, so good at applying this shield pressure, mixing up his movement to wow. find these killing aerials. The side B fallout drop into the grass. Such smart awareness and oh, finding the bear. I was gonna say, Cola, uh, such a vet, he knows what <laughs> situations, uh, he knows when those situations happen, he knows exactly how to follow them up, right? That's what pure mastery of your character will give you, is even when things don't go exactly how you want them to, you know exactly how to find the capitalization anyway. Cool, and even sometimes, you know, you'll you'll drop those side Bs on purpose just because you'd rather have a grab. Mm -hmm. Vendetta, though, definitely not out of this one. Cola with all the momentum, but 2-1 so in his favor. Yeah, where they're going to go now. Nashville, yeah. Nashville, you know, pretty small blast zones on this stage. Uh, I would imagine that Cola banned some of the really short blast zone stages, you know, like the ones with low ceilings. So this is probably where we ended up. Well, yeah, and I do wonder, you know, are you calling out like, I mean, on Smashville, you're saying you have to space perfectly. There's not anywhere for you to really run. You know, so make sure you're on your A game. Yep. And uh, this is definitely not a bad stage for either character. Cloud also often killing off the side, uh, looking for those back airs. We haven't seen a lot of up smash out of Cloud. I think it's just very risky against Ken to go for stuff like that. Uh oh. And like we were saying, you know, Vendetta amazing at pairing, not getting too much off that parry this time. But oh, ooh, that tech roll in was very smart. If he had been caught in the corner there, that would have been a huge punish for Vendetta. Dead even so far. Yeah, and just these, you know, Cola poking very carefully. Um, looking for an opening, but not going to overextend because any overextension from him, you know, he's going to take 50. You know, yep. he might die at this point at 90%. So. Playing against Ken, you know, Ken not a character with the best neutral, right? Um, it's not bad. I mean, he's got really, really good up post game, but his lack of range and sort of slow movement means that the way to play against him is just don't engage and only be safe. That being said, finding that corner pressure, gonna be killing him with up B, and uh, only 90% on Ken so far. Yeah, I was gonna say, one of the scariest places to be uh, against Ken is in the corner, but Cola finally returning to center here. Um, looking to close out the stock, but not at any risk of his own percent, you know? And it's all about these edge guards. Can Cola find this? Again, one interaction, he takes 40 plus. Again, these um, this mix up timing and his jumps, uh, trying to get this bear to. Vendetta close dropping out the, the berry there. You can see his visible frustration missing the timing on that one. And Cola gonna find the back air. You gotta wonder if some of the transition to offline. You know, a lot of people playing in both offline and online tournaments right now, it can be hard to get those timings exactly right when you do both. Yeah, I think Cola kind of ditched online a little bit earlier than Vendetta, so maybe he adapted to yeah, offline Cola, a little bit more, but. Cola took his 10K bag and got out. Mm -hmm. He said no more. He said, I'm going to take this this cash dub and lose no more mental health. <laughs> I think he made the right choice. He said, offline is self-care. But, 
Either way, you know. Oh my god, what a read Ooh. on the air dodge in. Oh, this is a really scary position to be in. But that SCI out, pretty much saving his life there. Okay, Ooh, getting the spot dodge down tilt. Oh, he's I'm not really dead. surprised he didn't die there. But he said, you know what? This move's nice, I'm gonna do it, do it twice. <laughs> so I'd be catching the air dodge. Pola is doing good at. You know, closing out these percentages, closing out these stocks without taking too much extra. He's not giving Vendetta too much extra credit, but you know, he's he's got to close out these stocks a little bit earlier, which is hard to say when Ken is killing you at what 70 off of hit. Absolutely, and wow, yeah, no, this is this is the set stock for Cola. He needs to find this without losing anything else, oh, and it's not gonna happen. What? Missing wow. the tech when he gets sure you'd under side uh, underneath the stage. Going for the deep offstage limit cross slash. I'm not not going to get it. I'm really surprised. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe the invulnerability on Shoryu actually just went through the limit cross slash. Uh, either that or he just wasn't yeah, positioned exactly right. Yeah, I thought he right. hit it first before Uppy even came out for Vendetta, but it yeah. seems like maybe he was trying to catch him, come up into it, uh, just kind of create a zone that he couldn't get into. Um, oh, thank you. We, we got. It. We got that commentary smasher paycheck, the yeah, it's free drink at Monte Bar. Yeah, give us a free drink and, uh, <laughs> and food, which is very much appreciated. We're having fun here. So, mm -hmm. you know, we uh, we live in North Carolina. We came down to visit just for this and a couple other tournaments. Love the Georgia smash scene. Love being back here. Yeah, miss them so much.